Well hello, uh, good morning and uh, welcome. Camilla and I are down the Woodford Valley today and uh, we're in a nature reserve. Um, it's the Devonish Nature Reserve and uh, what a beauty it is this morning. Literally two and a half mile cycle ride from my door and uh, that gets Camilla and I right in the smack of things. Today's episode on Camilla and I is the Great Spotted Woodpecker and uh, we're very fortunate to uh, stumble across this during lockdown um, and uh, here in the heart of the Devonish Nature Reserve. Usually quite a secretive bird except for bird feeders and the like in your own home usually with a couple of peanuts in its mouth but it's great to be able to get it in its natural environment and um, so although it's quite a common bird <coughs> it's difficult to photograph in the wild and of course the best place to photograph it in the wild is actually when it's nesting, when it's rearing its young. Because it's quite a large bird and it nests right at the top of trees, as you can see. In fact it nests right in the top of the tree behind me. Uh, well, one of the many trees behind me. I'll, uh, I'll show you which one in due course. <laughs> anyway, if you find a nest, it's well worth exploring. Obviously don't disturb it, it still um, could get frightened off, but uh, usually it's pretty obvious it's a hole at the top of a tree. Giveaway. <laughs> but uh, yeah, having said that, they do take a little bit of finding. Um, obviously they're not stupid, they try and avoid predators just like everything else. <clears throat> anyway, this one is like no other, it is Oh, about 30 foot up in the air, at least. And um, unless I shimmy up the tree next to it, I'm not going to get the same shots as uh, Morton Helmer. But don't worry, here on Camilla and I, we're not going up the tree. I'm going to show you what you can get from the ground. So uh, we will see. Okay. Well, I hope I captured the uh, full difficulty of that manoeuvre. Anyway, so talk about off the beaten track. We're on the beaten track. And uh, today, obviously, we're on the beaten track with this uh, great spotted woodpecker. As you can hear behind, it's cheep, 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 in a way, telling its parents, where's my grub? I want some food. God. Well, We've all been there, but this is nature's version. Um, it's a bit better than the one at home, so uh, I'll stay here a bit longer. Okay guys, after another exhausting session of uh, filming on uh, Camilla and I, it must be time for a uh, coffee break. So uh, yes indeed, we shall have a coffee. 
Um, and uh, here's one I made earlier. Might have been five o'clock this morning, but um, it's um, still good. Thanks. Uh, thanks for the tip, Morton. We're uh, we're all addicted now. But uh, yeah, it's great. Anyway, so a break in proceedings. Um, well, what have we uh, learnt today? Well, not a lot really. Visit your local nature reserve. Yep, that's the way we like it, Commander and I. Nice and straightforward. Devonish Nature Reserve, Woodford Valley. Um, normally you can park here, but the car park has been closed through uh, COVID-19 restrictions. So, uh, yeah, come along, bring your bike along, your exercise cycle, and uh, you never know, you may find a woodpecker's nest. Um, there also, in the area, there are tree creepers, of course, in a uh, deciduous woodland. This is a uh, 23 hectare site. Um, I don't think it's scientific, uh, of scientific importance yet, but um, may be corrected in uh, comments below. But uh, yeah, it's got a diverse uh, species. And also later in the year, we'll be back for um, butterflies and uh, insects, which um, inhabit the chalk grassland, which is also connected to this Devonish reserve. It's and lovely to be able to uh, bring this to you. Obviously, no humans were met in the uh, process of making this film today. Um, Camilla and I, we don't do sociability. We were doing social distancing long before any of this started. So uh, it's, um, it's a bonus. Okay, just a uh, quick one on um, settings. Obviously, uh, again, we're not operating with a tripod here. So again, we have the uh, lens set to its maximum stability setting to avoid camera shake. And um, also, very lucky with the A92, it has got inbuilt stabilization, five and a half stops, um, which yeah, is very useful. But as usual, techniques, usual bracing off, regardless of the amount of stabilisation you've got, you've still got to uh, maintain the stance. Settings, well of course we've got the standard perch bird setting here, one five hundredth of a second, and then the, um, I'll change the in-flight mode on uh, Camilla to a one thousandth of a second again, just to freeze any motion. If we do get any action, any interaction between the birds, um, obviously the mother and father feeding the uh, chicks then I go on to possibly one thousandth of a second sometimes I stay at the lower settings because in the woods you, it's quite a dark environment anyway so your ISO is climbing generally it's at least 800 even in the sunshine and often it's at 1600 so you've got to keep that ISO down to maintain the quality in the shots so uh, the lower the shutter speed the better you can get away with so if you can take multiple shots of the same subject you'll probably get one or two keepers out of those um, it's only we're only looking for one or two images we're not looking for a whole series of flight shots so uh, as usual with this thing, experiment see how you get on um, but obviously you know it's down to your camera your equipment and um, how you operate but uh, yep so a selection of shots some fast shutter speed some lower shutter speed just to give you that variety and the possibility of picking a real winner with a low ISO and uh, excellent detail okay Kamara and I are going to go in for a last run the sun now has come up to it's about 8 30 
and the sun's pretty high in the sky now so uh, you can still take shots they're very good but they're just not such good soft light as it was earlier so I'm just going to uh, approach again and uh, see if we can uh, get anything else Okay, they're really not far off fledging now, this lot. So uh, I don't know how much longer they're going to be around. I don't think I'll catch them actually fledging. I think that'd be incredibly lucky. But uh, anyway, it won't be long. Oh, just a quick note to uh, say that uh, this has been filmed over a couple of days. And um, indeed I came yesterday and the light was a lot more subdued. And indeed, most of the uh, video footage is taken um, yesterday, not today. It's a bit too bright today. I wouldn't normally uh, do uh, photography in these sort of conditions. Obviously, early in the morning, you're fine, but uh, later on in the day, it becomes a bit harsh. The contrast levels way up. So, uh, yep, note, it's not just one video. It has taken a couple of days to compile. And yet again, no humans have been met in the videoing process. Bye for now. Have a good one.